what probably started out as a meme to everyone has somehow turned itself into reality. Because at the top of everybody's list, I'm sure, was the addition of cannons on rowboats. Believe it or not, we can now troll even harder and budget pirate with ease. Let's dive in and see what these powerhouses can do. When shooting in row cannons, it should be known that it operates similarly to normal cannons and that the distance a cannonball will go or a person climbing in one is the same. Bear in mind though, you do sit lower in a rowboat than let's say a galleon. So distance may still be a bit skewed, so be sure to account for that variable when you're aiming. Row cannons can only be found front facing and with the same swivel as normal cannons. However, they can be attached to boats for a separate field of view, which we'll get into later. When shooting the cannons, the boat moves based on what direction you're shooting from, resulting in the need to recalibrate constantly. Though this could also be used as a mechanic to swiftly backpedal and make quick turns or jukes, I would advise having one operate the rowboat while the other cannons to keep the resetting to a minimum for maximum damage. Just don't forget to stock the back of the boat with food and cannons to maintain your pressure. Tuck plays take on a whole other dimension using fort plays as an example. Rather than risking your life boarding their ship, going for keg plays or using the island cannons to poke holes, you can instead use the row cannon to do it for you and add pressure from multiple angles. However, depending if you have a larger crew or are willing to get spicy, you can use multiple row cannons to add confusion and disarray, as well as distracting them with half your team cannoning from the direction facing away from the fort while another leaves to snatch a keg for an unsuspecting keg play. Row cannons attach to the back of your boat the same as any rowboat and therefore act somewhat as a rear-facing cannon. Unlike when in the water, however, firing the row cannon while attached to your boat does not cause any movement for the boat it's attached to. But be careful stalking too much though because focus firing the back of any ship with a row cannon still knocks it off the same as any other rowboat. So keep the supplies in there to a minimum unless you're taking it out for a spin. While row cannons are smaller targets and sit lower than what people are used to, it's still a rowboat at the end of the day. A few well-placed cannon shots from anyone that can aim can bring your whole plan crashing down. While this could add an interestingly fun layer to combat on the seas, just remember, it's still not replacing your ship. Now that you're one step closer to being a true pirate legend, it's time you go out there and test your metal with what you've learned. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can always be notified of any upcoming videos. We stream regularly on Twitch at twitch.tv slash copiousjack with all our links located down below. And remember, it's not about the gold, it's about the glory.